Hello, BBC Audience Services. You're speaking with Pierce. Do you have feedback on inquiry for the BBC? Yes. Good morning or good afternoon, should I say, from here. I have an inquiry and also have a report to make to BBC. Okay. Um, in regards to making a report to the BBC, are you looking to BBC to cover a news story? Yes. I want to uh, report a, a, a documentary that was published by BBC against the people of Biafra. And I also want to make inquiry as to the response that uh, BBC gave to that documentary. So I don't know. Um, what is your name, please? Uh, my name is Desmond and I'm calling you from Italy. What is your own name, please, if I might get your name again? Okay. Yeah, my name is Pierce. Yes, um, I am Desmond. I am calling from Italy and I have been reporting this um, this documentary by BBC. Yeah, you, feel, you, feel, uh, you feel that the BBC is biased against the Afro, is that correct? Exactly. And um, we, I, we got a response from BBC online. And I want to read the. Re I don't know. Have you seen the response? They responded because they say this response is from um, audience relations, BBC World Service. And I know I am talking to the audience Dex because um, I called several times, and you you people there made me understand that this is an audience Dex, and this is an audience report from this a response from audience relation. Um, so I want you to give me a little bit of time. You see, it takes me so much long time for you to respond to my calls. So you have to give me some more time to read out some paragraph for you from this response so that I can be able to make a very clear inquiry. Because first of all, the documentary, as we reported, as I've been reporting, that it was false and malicious and um, it is against the people of Biafra because uh, the genocide is being committed against the people of Biafra, but BBC, that documentary was inverse. And it is um, like it, the documentary was meant to also increase the level of genocide going against the people of Biafra by the way they put it, and also to tarnish the image of IPOB and our leader and some media personnel of IPOB um, who have been working hard for the restoration of Biafra. And as a Biafran, I know it is my responsibility and also within my right to call BBC customer service to lay this complaint. And if I'm not satisfied, it is also within my right to continue to make this complaint and find out why things it is the way it is. So um, I want you to, to listen to, to some of the paragraph of your response, of the response from BBC audience relations. Am I, am I good to go? Um, so if you're unhappy with the response that you got, you can certainly do that via the method that it states on the letter or the response that you got. Yes, I, I want to read a paragraph, one or two or th three paragraphs to you so that you understand what I'm saying. Because the, the response we have gotten shows that um, we need a higher authority in BBC to, to, to look into this matter. Um, so I'm going to make an inquiry for a higher authority in BBC because a lot is happening. The Biafran people are being killed on a daily basis. And it is very, very unprofessional and it is very bad for BBC to have such documentary against the Biafran people and also insist, instead of pulling it down, they are insisting that it meets their community standard or they say it meets their, their informative standards or what do they say here. So I want to know what is the, what is the standard of BBC in compiling yeah, a documentary so you're, against you're, a particular bear people. Bear with, with me a second. I know you're reading off that paper. Just give me a couple of moments to explain. So, if you're looking at a response, you'll need to complete the web form. I'm only here to record your feedback. 
but you seem to be asking questions that you're looking an answer to, and an answer I wouldn't be able to give. So if you go to the complaints web form, you can I, your question. No, I am, I am, no, hold on, P.S. I am trying to, you know, in writing, it's, it's a normal thing to write, and it's also a normal thing to give an audience to somebody who has called you to make a report. So I want to, I am telling you, we got a response, and I am telling you what is in that response is, is bad as the documentary itself. Yeah, but so, as I've just stated, you can, you can do that via writing. And no, we, uh, uh, no, I want to, you see, uh, no, I know, I, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. You, you have to tell me, or, oh, because if I do that via writing to the same email where I have gotten this response from, I am still going to get the same response. So, you have to give no. me, you know, I'm coming, I'm coming. You have to give me a and a higher authoritative or a higher email of the higher authority. I, I, I you're, you're feeling the other oh. what I'm saying to you. So I can't answer any of these questions. If you're unhappy with the response you receive, you can certainly come back and you can give all the points you're wishing to make. I can't take verbatim what you want to say. You'll need to come back in writing. I'm happy to record your complaint that you feel the BBC biased against Biafra. But if you're looking to give a point by point, a point by point, point out of your response, you'll need to do that for writing. Okay, I am going to, I am going to write, but let me give my complaint so that you record it and take it to the higher authority. Now, my complaint is, we insist that the documentary was false. And we are also saying that from the response that we have gotten so far, that the, one of the paragraphs where they said they gave um, some of our personnel enough time to respond is false. It's also okay. a lie. I'm, I'm, I want to give a complaint. Can you record the complaint, so please? I, I, I am recording the complaint, but you're going Good. to see the response that you received, and I said you can do that in writing. Yes, I, no, I'm not reading the response. I'm trying to give you a complaint so that you record my complaint. I'm not, I, will, I will go to write, but I want to give you a, a verbal complaint so that you record it and send it to the high authority. Are you with me? So, because I have to touch this um, aspect. Do you understand me? Hello? Yeah. Yes, okay. So, my complaint is, the documentary, we insist, it is defamatory, it is malicious, and it is calling for genocide. Again, it, it is calling for the heightening, that is, the, 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 to heighten the ongoing genocide against the people of Biafra. And it does not also address the extraordinary rendition of IPOB leader. IPOB is a very peaceful movement, and our leader is Mazi Namdekanu, who was extraordinary rendition, and he is a British citizen. And it is sort of biased coming from BBC, talking about what the role they played in the 1967-70 war against genocide. It's actually genocide. But, I mean, they say it's a genocide against the people of Biafra. You understand? So, we want these corrections okay. to be made by BBC and also those that control the BBC board to please look into this matter because this form of response is it's not that it's not unhappy, it's provocative because it is trying to show that BBC is coming out to tell us that all their atrocities, all their false reports against our people is intentional. And you know, as I speak with you, the Fulani terrorists whom the BBC are trying to exonerate, they are in my bush, in the bush of Biafra land, killing and raping our people. And we said it has been happening for the past 50 years. We've lost a lot of people. They've killed so many of our people. And we said it cannot continue. We have to stop it. You are a Britain. You are working in BBC. Nobody, no intruder, no invader, no visitor is killing you in your bushes. Nobody is doing that to you. And we don't see any reason why somebody should come because he's been supported by BBC and British to come and be killing our people. We cannot allow that to happen. 
And BBC must be very, very fair. BBC must give us audience to state our own side of this story because we have nothing in common with Fulani terrorists. We are not terrorists. We are peace-loving people. You know IPOB is the biggest, the, the largest mass movement for the restoration of Biafra on this earth. But you know we have been very, very peaceful and very, very coordinated. There is nothing we do. In fact, on the 14th and on the 15th, we are in Bruxelles. We protested in Bruxelles, in the, in the European um, okay. headquarters. So, I, I'm coming. Let me finish. Yes, Please, so can I finish? Please let me finish the sentence, or else I will move on. I mean, we're, we're limited at the time, and this is definitely something that you can put in writing in response. Okay, okay, good, good. But please, take, record this little that I have said, because I have much to say, but because of your time, I'm going to allow you to do other things. I know you are working. I am also working. I am also working, you know, but I bring out my time to call you so that I can, because this is about my life. Are you with yes, me? Yes, I, I but, appreciate that my health been recording that, and I will be seen by the relevant team to the senior management of the BBC, okay? Okay, that is good. So please take this record and send it to the appropriate authority and I will appreciate that that will get a better response from BBC. Do you understand? Thank you, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. And also I want I want BBC to, to publish the what is happening to our leader Mazin Namdekano. They should push for his unconditional release because he was extraordinary rendition, it's part of the report. You understand? It is their responsibility yes. because Mazin Namdekano is a BT citizen. We need him to be released yes. unconditionally, and also we are asking for a referendum because yes. from the news we are hearing that the people of Scotland have the right, they are going to have another referendum by next year to okay. determine their So yes. we want a referendum also to determine okay. our future. Do you understand? If you don't have, if you don't have me speak, I'll turn the call. I appreciate you feel very strongly about this, you feel very passionate about this. As I said, I've recorded your feedback. That you feel the BBC is biased against Biafra? Very, very, and very, very. It should be corrected, please. Yes, sir. It should be corrected, if please. Me, yes, sir. If you bear with me a second, I've afforded you the opportunity to speak. So I'm going to place that in the audience feedback report, and that will be seen by the relevant production teams and by senior monarch on the BBC, okay? Thank, Thank you, you very much. Call. I will need to move on. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Thank you.